Hi, my name is Michi Held. Welcome to Daily Drum Lesson. Today we're going to check out the Diller feel. Jay Dilla was a hip-hop producer from the 90s and early 2000s who used lots of jazz samples and paired them with these weird between straight and swung drum loops and with that created some of the greatest hip-hop beats of all time. This in-between feel is what I want to talk about today. Let's pick this groove and play it straight with normal eighth notes. We could also swing the 8th notes, so we would play a shuffle. Now comes the interesting part. We play the 8th note somewhere in between straight and swung. This might sound like this. Okay, you can basically play your 8th note anywhere in the spectrum between the straight offbeat and the 3rd note of the triplet from the shuffle. But just throwing it in anywhere is really really hard, especially when you just started out and are not used to this feel. So let's define the placement a bit more. We divide each quarter in 5 16th notes, quintuplets, and play only the 1st and the 4th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. This is called a quintuplet shuffle and is somewhere between straight and swung. But I won't notate it like this because it looks way too confusing, especially when we move on to the more advanced stuff where we layer different fields. I will notate it as normal eighth notes and just color these red. And you know every time you see a red note, it's a bit delayed and somewhere in between. In addition to the notation, which you can download by clicking the link in the description below, you can also download a click track, which doesn't click normal eighth notes, but a quintuplet shuffle at 80 BPM. And you can also download a drum loop of each groove notated in the PDF. When I started practicing stuff like this, I found it incredibly difficult because I wasn't used to the feel and I never knew if I'm right or if I'm wrong. So I created these drum loops in Logic to practice to. Just play along until they feel normal. Okay, so far we got this. A straight groove. A shuffled groove. and this feel in between. Now we get to the nuances which create the Dilla feel. We take this bass drum hit on 3 end and instead of playing it delayed on the quintuplet, we play it straight so it will hit a bit earlier than the hi-hat and create a little flam.
Of course you can do this with any base jump pattern you like. Here are some examples. You can also play the straight 8th note on the hi-hat in addition to the other one. Let's take this groove and throw in the straight offbeat with our left hand. So we get a right, left, right, right, left, right sticking. Notice that the bass drum on 3 end should line up with the first hi-hat stroke. Another thing I really like to do is to play the straight off beat with my left foot instead of my left hand. Of course you don't have to play this on every count. It's also really cool to just play it on the one end. Alright, one more groove for you. Let's take this groove with the bass drum on the 3 end and this little hi-hat thing on the 1 end and add a hi-hat on the 2R and the 3E. There is nothing odd about these two notes, they are both straight. They just sound weird because the 8th note before and the 8th note after them is delayed. Have a listen. Okay, now you got some ideas on how to create these Dilla-inspired grooves. Combine them, mix them up, come up with your own ideas. That's already it for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you liked this lesson, write something nice in the comments below, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.